Namaste guys, this is Ashmata from artsomecraft.blogspot.in and I'm back with the next tutorial for the fifth signature and this is what it looks like. It has a simple flip out, a large photo mat here and this cute little, um, what's this called? Suckle and then room for another photo here and this flap pulls up like that and of course you have um, room for a large photo here so this I intend to be a page for the baby pictures of the baby sleeping so the night night page so let me just quickly give you the dimensions for that I'm just going to grab my scoreboard and what you need to do is I'm going to simply score my sheet at 6 and 1 8 of an inch and then add six and two eighths of an inch, like so. And then I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to score it at. Just okay. I'm going to score it at six and one eighth of an inch, and I'll just score it all the way to my where the, sco the scores that I already made. And another one at six and two eighth of an inch. That's it. Those are all the scores that you're gonna need. And let me just grab my trimmer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off on this side. On the side that I made my scores, I'm gonna trim this at one inch. going to line this up and I'm going to trim all the way to the score lines that I made the gussets that I created like that and then for this one we are going to cut it all the way from the innermost score line from here I'm just going to line that up. Let's see. And I'm going to cut it all the way to the score. Like that. And then I'm going to cut in from this side. I may have to change the blade on my trimmer. Can you believe it? This is a new one. It's just been a month. So, these are all the cutting, scoring, and folding that we're going to need. Just clean up the edges. And then I'm going to grab my bone folder and I'm going to start folding this in. I'm going to reinforce the scores on the side since this is going to act as my spine. Like that. And I'm going to reinforce this one up here as well. Like so. And I already have my pattern paper cut. So I'm going to add this piece. The large piece with the stars. I I really like this paper. It's pretty relevant since you want to do a a nighttime photograph of the baby. So I really thought this looked like night sky. And this should mat on perfectly. Like that. And then I have this piece of blue cardstock, and we're going to line it up on the little flap here that we have and there's really no need for this flap I just didn't want to waste that uh, piece of paper as well as I thought it added a little bit of diorama effect when we're going to add the stickers and let me just grab my stickers and these are just some 
uh, dimensional stickers that I bought at my craft store. And I'm going to leave this little crib down at the bottom here. And I'm going to grab this piece. And this has some dimensional foam on top. It had dimensional foam uh, everywhere. So I just picked it out and I reinforced uh, those joints with some glue. So they dried up and they wouldn't attach to my bottom here. I'm just going to lay that down. And with these little stars, I'm just going to add them randomly here and there. And this place can be used for journaling as well. So that's yeah, the side done. Let me just uh, grab the rest of the pattern paper. So I, um, I'm going to leave a little bit of room right in between these two panels that I'm going to attach for a large photo, a 4x6 picture can go directly in between these two flaps. Like that in between. So there's really no need for covering it up with an entire pattern paper. And I have this little die cut that I cut out from one of the sheets. Sheets from the collection. And I'm just going to lay it down here. It says Sweet Dreams. So now that we have the inside done, I have a piece of cardstock here that I, uh, not cardstock, pattern paper to go on the outer panel here. And just to make it easier, I'm going to flip it open. making sure there's no trapped air in between the cardstock and the pattern paper. So now that we have that done, let me scrap some of my pattern papers and see what I have here. So we're just going to use this entire sheet here. And I'm just going to adhere this. And this will act, act as a large photo mat. So, just going to flip. Now this is pretty nice. This this sheet here. It looks like ledger paper, but then it gives you uh, also the scope to do journaling directly on it as well. So that's pretty neat. So. so we have this one done and let me just grab the little suckle. I hope that's what this is called. And we're just going to, this is already a, an adhesive um, sticker. So it just goes on there perfectly. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to finish the back of this one as well. I'm just going to add this nice chevron pattern here. And that's it. So now we have uh, the fifth signature done and I'll be back to show you how I'm going to bind these into the covers that we made. Thanks for joining me. Come back again. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.